the 1950s, a time of post-war optimism, booming economies and unsettling experiments. Harry Harlow, an American psychologist, began his controversial research on attachment. Harlow wanted to understand the bond between mother and child. His subjects were rhesus monkeys, chosen for their similarities to us. Harlow's work sparked debate about scientific progress and animal ethics. His research tapped into societal anxiety about child rearing. The prevailing wisdom suggested that affection was unnecessary and even harmful. Parents were encouraged to be emotionally distant, prioritizing discipline over warmth. This created a climate of emotional sterility, particularly in institutional settings. Harlow's experiments were a direct response to this dominant school of thought. He believed love and security were essential for healthy development. This belief formed the crux of his research, demonstrating the importance of emotional bonds. Harlow's experiments separated infant monkeys from their mothers shortly after birth. They were placed with two surrogate mothers, one wire, one cloth. The wire mother provided food, the cloth mother offered comfort. This setup studied nourishment versus contact comfort. The baby monkeys preferred the cloth mother. They clung to her for comfort and security. When frightened, they ran to the cloth mother. This showed the importance of a secure base in attachment. Harlow's research demonstrated that comfort and security were not merely pleasant additions to a child's life, but fundamental needs as essential as food and water for healthy psychological development. The infant monkeys in his experiments, though fed and physically cared for, suffered severe emotional and social deficits due to the lack of a loving, responsive caregiver. The monkeys raised with only the wire mother, despite receiving adequate nutrition, showed signs of anxiety, depression and social withdrawal. They were more likely to engage in self-harming behaviours like rocking and biting themselves. These findings highlighted the devastating impact of emotional neglect demonstrating that physical care alone was not enough to ensure healthy development. Harlow's work had a profound impact on our understanding of attachment. It shifted the paradigm from a purely biological need for survival to a complex interplay of emotional, social and physical factors. His findings highlighted the critical role of early experiences in shaping social and emotional development, emphasising the importance of nurturing environments for children. The long-term effects of Harlow's experiments were perhaps even more disturbing. The monkeys raised in isolation, deprived of any maternal care, exhibited severe social and emotional impairments that persisted into adulthood. They struggled to form relationships with other monkeys, displaying aggression, fear and an inability to engage in normal social interactions. These monkeys, when they became mothers themselves, were often neglectful and even abusive towards their own offspring, perpetuating a cycle of trauma. This tragic outcome underscored the profound and lasting impact of early deprivation on social and emotional development, demonstrating that the capacity for love and empathy is not innate, but learned through early nurturing experiences. The profound suffering endured by the monkeys in Harlow's experiments raised serious ethical concerns about the limits of scientific inquiry. Critics argued that the suffering inflicted on the monkeys was not justified by the knowledge gained and that Harlow's experiments crossed a moral boundary in the pursuit of scientific understanding. Harlow's experiments, though groundbreaking in their findings, sparked a heated debate about the ethical treatment of animals in research. Critics argued that the suffering inflicted on the monkeys, particularly the profound and lasting psychological harm, was unjustifiable. The images of the monkeys clinging desperately to their cloth mothers or huddled in fear and isolation became symbolic of the debate over animal welfare in scientific research. The ethical concerns raised by Harlow's work were not limited to the suffering of the monkeys. Critics argued that the artificiality of the experimental conditions limited the generalizability of the findings to human children. The extreme deprivation experienced by the monkeys, they argued, did not reflect the complexities of human attachment, which develops within a rich social and environmental context. Despite these criticisms, Harlow's work had a profound impact on the development of ethical guidelines for animal research. Although the Animal Welfare Act wasn't passed in the United States until 1966, 
Harlow's experiment served as a catalyst for change, forcing the scientific community to confront the moral implications of animal experimentation and leading to stricter regulations and a greater emphasis on animal welfare. By reflecting on the ethical shortcomings of past research, we can advance scientific understanding while ensuring the humane treatment of all research subjects.